this week um, I just finished my book and I read The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan and I thought that it was a very cute book. So I've always been a reader but when I was younger the first books I remember loving and the first books that I remember being my own and being like, the real catalyst that got me started on this like, path and got me really into reading and really into wanting to write and go into English and everything were the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. And I remember being in fourth grade and going to our library class and instead of just sitting in the corner and doing an I Spy book with my friend, I picked the first book. I picked The Lightning Thief off the shelf and I read it and I remember walking around and reading the first pages and just imagining what it would be like to be a demigod and to live in that world and I remember gobbling that book up and loving it and then going on to the second one and reading all of those and I remember getting The Last Olympian for my birthday and I read that in like a week and I remember feeling so upset because I thought the series was over and I was so excited about finishing it and reading it and just having that series to be my own. And then after that I went into middle school and high school and all of those years I spent a year, every every single year, I was waiting for the next book to come out in the Heroes of Olympus series and those characters became part of me. They became something that I could rely on. As I've been getting older I've been growing out of reading those books and growing out of reading Rick Wright worded stuff because he writes for a younger age group than me and I'm going to be going into college next year so it's kind of bittersweet because I get to move on and read things like The Handmaid's Tale or read authors like John Green or Cassandra Clare and they're amazing and I love reading them but there's part of me that just can't let go of Rick Wright worded because his books were so important to me and they probably will continue to be so important to me because he owns my life basically and if he comes out with a new book I'm probably going to read it. I haven't gotten around to reading Magnus Chase yet but there's just a part of me that can't give up like going on this journey and reading about the Greek gods. It really shaped where I wanted to go and it shaped who I was because I looked up to these heroes and these books and I looked up to who they were and I wanted to be like Percy and wanted to be like Annabeth and when Piper came along I loved her and I wanted to be like her and they were all just important to me and they were my role models and they were people for me to look up to and love and so I'll probably still read every single book Rick and writes. I don't think there will come a day when I can't bring myself to pick them up and this week, I read The Trials of Apollo, which is the newest book that he's published. Um, I got it on Christmas, and it's an autographed copy, which is super exciting. The book itself, it's really good if you're a younger reader. I know a lot of you guys are coming off of uh, my Piper channel, which is a that fandom um, channel slash Instagram. So I know that a lot of you guys are going to be reading this and I really liked it. I liked getting to hear from Apollo's point of view because it's written from the point of view of Apollo who is the god of the sun and music if you guys don't know. And it was really interesting to read from his point of view. It was annoying at times because Rick Riordan wrote him to be super cocky but I really did enjoy. I thought the storyline was cute. It's Basically, Apollo was sent down to Earth, he's immortal now, and like, he has to go through these trials, and he gets into a demigod, and there's prophecies and stuff, and he's gotta learn like where he's gotta go, how to get back to the god again. So I thought that was cute, and I really enjoyed the storyline. It is gonna be a series, probably five books, because his other series have been consistently five books. So, yeah, I did enjoy it. I thought it was cute. I loved uh, seeing Percy again because he did appear a little bit in the beginning. It was really nice to read this book and go back to like a simpler time, I guess. Go back to when I was younger and when I was just reading these books last night when they were the only things that I really wanted to read. And it was really nice 
to have this there to be my anchor. It was just sort of more of a nostalgia for me. Plot-wise, it did get a little stereotypical, like you sort of knew where it was going, but there were times when the garden really switched it up and he like made it different and he like changed things and made different plot twists to make it a little more interesting for you. And I really did enjoy that. I enjoyed um, seeing Camp Blood from different eyes and getting to know newer characters because it's more about, it doesn't have the seven and it doesn't have Annabeth, Percy, Nico, or it has Nico and Will in it. Those are the only two that are really from the other series. Nico, Will, and Chiron are there. Um, but the rest are all new characters and it's, it's sort of a breath of fresh air to have him write different characters and have new people for me to interact with. And I did enjoy it and I most likely will be reading the next four books. I don't know, I, I just felt like there was something missing for me. But again, if you read it and you love it, that's great. If you guys have read it, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments. Um, and in the comments, I want you guys to tell me what was your Percy Jackson? What was the book, the hero, the character that like stuck with you and really moved you when you were little? And what really tipped you off to start reading? So thank you guys so much for watching and for listening. Like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Ben will be coming out with his book of the week eventually, so we'd really love to hear what you guys have to say. Leave us comments, leave us book recommendations, things you want to hear us talk about, maybe leave us some different formats you want to see us do, we might do a little book club. If you guys want to read the same books as us, let us know what you're reading, as always. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!